Hey, what's up, tech enthusiasts? Welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive into the latest innovation in networking and tech. In today's video, we are going to explore a game changer for network infrastructure, the Armored Composite Fiber Optic Cable, and we'll break down how it simplifies network setups and walk you through a detailed installation guide. So let's get started. First off, Let's talk about why a robust network infrastructure is so critical. In today's world, businesses, data centers, and even smart homes rely on high-speed stable network to function smoothly. But without a solid infrastructure, you could face frequent downtime, poor performance, or even security risks. So imagine running a 10G network over a poorly shielded cable, you'll be asking for trouble. And that's where Armored Composite Fiber Optic Cable comes to the rescue. So what exactly is this Armored Composite Fiber Optic Cable that I'm talking about? Now, this cable is a beast. It combines the power of fiber optic data transmission with the durability and protection of an armored exterior. And that's not all. It's also composite, meaning it delivers both power and data in a single run. This makes installation simpler reduces costs and increases reliability, especially in harsh environments. And let's take a closer look at its design. The armor layer protects the cable from physical damage, like being crushed, cut, or not on by rodents. Yeah, that happens. And it's perfect for outdoor setup or places where cables are exposed to the element. Rain, extreme temperature won't affect its performance. Plus, the armor design shields the fiber from electromagnetic interference, so you won't have to worry about your data signal getting scrambled. Some of the key benefits, well, for one, this cable come pre-terminated, which saves a tons of time during installation. No need to mess with fiber splicing in the field, just plug and play. Second, since it's composite, you can use it to carry DC or AC power alongside data, meaning it's perfect for setup that need power delivery, like remote IP cameras or network switches. And of course, it supports 10G high-speed data transmission, making it future-proof for bandwidth-heavy applications like cloud computing and enterprise-level networking. All right, so now we are in front of the demonstration board and let's get into the installation process. And I'm going to walk you through the steps from planning to powering up our IP camera with Armor Composite Fiber Optic Cable. First thing first, planning. Before running any cable, you need to assess the site. Take a close look at where you're installing the cable. Are there any obstacles like tight corners or areas exposed to the element? And you also want to map out the distance to make sure your cable is long enough. And a pro tip is, always plan for a little extra slack in your cable, just in case. So let's begin. Now you're looking at our router. I'm going to use an ethernet cable to connect it to our indoor media converter for data transmission. So let's plug it in. And the power supply for our indoor media converter. Then we are going to install our fiber optic cable. Since we are using this pre-terminated fiber cable, so this part is super easy. Just connect the end to our media converter. But make sure you avoid sharp bands because fiber optic cables are delicate inside and a sharp band could damage the fiber. So we have two strings, let's use string one connect it to a SFP transceiver and then slide it into our media converter. It's that simple. So now the data are taken care of. What about the power? As you can see, our power cable, both positive and negative, is already connected to a power supply and connected to a power grid even though it's not on yet for safety. And this is the grounding cable. 
Now make sure you ground it properly to protect it from electrical surges and to improve performance. So in between, we only have this one big roll of armor composite fiber optic cable. And let's come over to the outdoor. Now this is our outdoor rated PoE media converter. Now we are going to plug in our fiber optic cable for data and the power conductors for power. So now we're going to connect our fiber optic cable. Remember which string? String one, which is this one. Connect it to our SFP transceiver. And then slide it into our outdoor media converter. Until you hear a click sound. And this is IP67 waterproof rated, so we don't have to worry about any water or dust get in. Just twist your neck and the gland tightly. Make sure you use a wrench. And then for the power cable, I already connected to a connector. And now, let's connect it with our outdoor media converter. And again, twist our neck and the gland tightly. And as you can see, the grounding cable is connected as well. A poorly grounded can lead to signal interference or worse, safety hazards. So make sure you ground it on both sides. And last but not least, we are going to connect our PDZ camera using this Ethernet cable. So we can send both power and data. And let's connect it to our PDZ camera. And now I'm going to turn on our power supply. Let's turn it on. And instantly you can see our indicated lights are on. And our PDZ camera is working as well. Now make sure you keep everything neat. It isn't just for looks. It's also make maintenance much easier down the line. So let's search for our camera. Here we go. It is connected. Let's see in action. I'm going to wave my hand. So you can see this is a live video. And not only our setup can connect to PDZ camera, it can also power up PoE wireless access point. So let's try. I'm going to unplug the Ethernet cable and connect it to our PoE PDZ cam, PoE wireless access point. So you can see the indicated lights are on. The wireless access point is getting both power and data from our armored composite fiber optic cable. And let's take out our mobile device and see if it works. So let's turn on the Wi-Fi. So here we go. Our wireless access point popped up. Let's connect to it. And it is connected. Let's try to go on our website. Here we go. You can see it is working perfectly fine through our composite fiber optic cable. And finally, let's talk about speed that our armored composite fiber optic cable can achieve. To be precise, 10G speed. Now this cable is built to handle high-speed data transmission, making it perfect for modern applications like cloud computing, data centers, and large enterprise. So if you're running a business that need to transfer a large amount of data, or you're setting up a network for a high-performance environment, this cable is exactly what you need to keep everything running smoothly at lightning speed. So there you have it. 
a powerful, durable, and easy to install solution that simplifies network infrastructure with its armored protection, composite capability, and 10G support, this cable truly is a game changer. And whether you're upgrading your data center or just need a tough cable for your outdoor IP camera, the Armored Composite Fiber Optic Cable is up for the challenge. Now, thank you very much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome tech insights. And as always, if you have any questions or need help with your own network setup, you can drop them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help. Until next time, stay connected.